So I'm going to show you how you take background images that I might send in an email and get them into SiteWorks so you can see them behind your line work. Uh, first thing you do is you're going to find the email from me that has background images. I'm going to drop this down and hit save as. Let's put it into downloads. Hit save. Now we want to navigate to downloads. Double click on that file, background images. Extract all. We're going to just let it extract to the downloads folder. Make sure this is checked, show to extract files when completed. And now here are our extracted background images. If we go into here, we see there's a grading plan with an image file. And then there's just .gfw, which is what's going to geo-reference that image in SiteWorks. So we're going to go back, right-click, copy. Now we need to navigate to our SCS 900 folder. So you're going to go to C drive, Trimble Synchronizer Data, PC, Trimble SCS 900 Data. We're going to go to the job that we need to bring this into, which is this job here. <clears throat> and this is where the background images folder gets created and placed. Uh, it's next to designs and work orders. So I'm just going to do right click, paste. And now that background images folder is in the SCS 900 data folder. So I'm going to close out of this. Now I'm going to use an emulator on my computer, which mimics what SiteWorks does on a data collector. Now I'm going to show you exactly how you view these images in your design. So we're going to select that job in a design, hit accept. And background images work for an entire project, not just one design. So you can you can't uh, sort those background images based on the design. It's it's they're there for uh, every background image is there for for a project, whether you're in a different work order or a different design. They're they're always all of them that are there. All right, so the background image was already on. But what I'm going to do is. You're going to hit the settings gear to the right and then what you want is up top images and it's this display background image when you check that it's going to ask you for transparency i always leave it at 100 uh i always send dimmed background images so they'll look a little bit gray it looks better for the line work uh, then you're going to select which background image you want uh, in this case there's only one it's grading plan and if you hit accept going to load that background image onto the screen. And there it is. Now as you're walking around, you can see the plans behind what you're doing. And pretty much any plan sheet can be geo-referenced. I normally only geo-reference the, uh, the site plan, grading plan, utility plan, but if there's anything else that's ever wanted, just reach out to me. I can reference pretty much any plan into a, into a project. So that's how you do it. It's that simple.